Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Crazy hair today. I have a Dollar Tree haul. We're not looking behind me. I've got a mess everywhere. I'm in the middle of wrapping presents and fa la la and videoing every day. I do have my elf mug and it also tells me that an elf's four main food groups are candy canes, candy, candy corn, and syrup. Mmm, delicious. I need coffee to keep me on the go. And Mr. Man is here. Oh, he left. That was Alex. Wellington's laying on my front porch. Living his best cat life. I don't know. Okay, Dollar Tree haul. It's going to be a quick, quick one, but that is okay. I found some more Harry and David coffee. And this is vanilla creme brulee, which I like. So I grabbed two because... I apparently have a thing with two, but let's do a thumbnail. Nope, shadows. Perfect. So, so far I've got the regular and the hazelnut. And this is only a four ounce bag, which is fine because I think these are perfect as little gifts and that's what they will be for me. Right, just little gifts. I feel like I had more stuff, but maybe I don't. I don't remember. Um, I picked up these. These are, it's basswood is what it is. I don't even know how thick it is, but I use these with my laser burner. So I grabbed two. These work well for like bigger items. I ordered some wood, but quite frankly, this is the same. It's cheaper actually to use this. So I grabbed two of those. I got a lot of crafting stuff, I feel like. Oh, I got these greeneries, which, um, I mean, I'm not, I, you'll see what I'm using them for. It's for a DIY, but it, I mean, they're greenery. There's gold glitter on them. They're to show you. I, I don't know. They're, I mean, they're sprigs. You could put them in things. They're picks is what they are. Words, Lori, words. The glitter is for real. I'll just throw that out there, but they're a pick. So these would be fantastic if I put them potentially on some packages. So I have a couple, well, you're not going to see them, but in that corner, I've got gifts wrapped, but I haven't put tags on them yet. They're all for the same person, so I know who they're for, but I'm trying to get fancy with my gift wrapping, so I don't know. We do that. Then I started collecting some stuff for my cross-stitching. So... Yes, this is a great sign. It says, what does this one say? Be merry. They say be merry. But what I will do is take off the tags, get off this paper, finish it, and then I can put a cross stitch on here and hang some little cross stitch on these. So reuse them. Like this is a nice piece of wood. Um, the paper, you can either sand it off, peel it, pick it, whatever. Um... And I like, I will take this off, this whole thing will come off. I'll sand it all down, I'll paint it up, and then I can mount things to it. So these are definitely not for Christmas crafting because I'm not, I'm done. Ugh. Alex, Alex, him's okay. So Wellington wants in, and now Alex is going to sit at that window. I wonder if I can turn this camera around while it's recording. I don't think I can. I wanted to show you what he's doing. I'm gonna go let the cat in. Okay, I'm back. All right, I picked up some gift tags. This is a great deal. You get 104 and oh, yeah. they're just, you know, the sticker gift tags. I like these. This is the perfect Grinch green right there. Um, Just to have, I haven't done, hardly any of my wrapping yet, and I don't really know what I have and or don't have. So, oh, I picked up some red candles, some tapered candles. So I have some on my mantle, but they melted over the winter or summertime, and they're like bent, so I just got some new. I don't burn these because I don't think these are dripless, and we don't need to be dripping wax all over our house but they're cute they're pretty they're red um i picked up for a gift 
to go in with the gift that I'm putting together some. This is the day mask and the night mask. These are for under your eye masks. And I got the same in the same packaging, the pimple patches and some serum. So I'm kind of going with this as a theme for um, a gift for someone. So I have that. Um, I grabbed some double-sided tape for wrapping presents. And I grabbed one of these to put in with my cross stitching. So if you're not aware, when you're stitching with uh, floss, if you have to rip it out, sometimes you get fibers or something stuck. And if you take a white eraser, it has to be the white because the pink will dye your fabric and you rub it, it will um, get that off. So I grabbed this for my cross stitching crafty kit because I'll use that on occasion. I grabbed this baseball cap. It is for a child. It's that layer eight again with the 40 SPF. And this is, it just says boys hat. Uh, my coworker has a little boy. I don't, oh, it's for a toddler. It may not fit him, but it might. Or I'll give it to Sarah because she has um, a coworker with littles that they can wear these and keep the sun off their face. And it's 40 SPF and it was a dollar. And these retail for 20 something dollars online from where I looked. Is that reality? Who knows? But... I'm just saying. I saw those and I thought it was fantastic. But let's put all of our crafty stuff away that we're just going to put away until I have time to craft. And one doesn't really know when that's going to happen, right? Um, this can go with the gift wrapping stuff. Look at me. I'm being organized here. And that's coffee. Oh, we just have one more bag. Again, my stores are kind of a little low on stuff. However... This one store I went to had some fun things. How fun are these? Why well, I thought this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So I grabbed two of each to paint them. And you could do like um, the conversation heart or something. And just put it in a planter. Or I mean, these are pretty thick dowels. Um, if you have children, it's a weapon. I wouldn't, I do not recommend for the children. But I thought for Valentine's Day, these would be fun in the heart shapes. And then they had the stars, which for New Year's, these would kind of be fun. And I definitely think you could put these on like a wreath would be fantastic and decorate them or something. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I grabbed two of each. I've never seen those. Those are new to me. Um, then nothing really exciting. I also grabbed these for the same thing that I got the um, tags for. I'm going to rip this tag off, rip this paper off, sand it, paint it, and then I can put a cross stitch ornament on it to hang. It is perfect. Perfect for um, DIYing to hang your cross stitches on. I'm always looking for things to mount little ornaments. And I thought this was perfect. And what I will do is cut the circle smaller than this and then I'll paint this or put some paper down or something and then put my cross stitch on top. I will glue that metal back on and now I have an ornament that is handmade. And for $1.25, that's a good base for that. So that is definitely gonna be an ornament this year. Probably not. I'm sending a package in the mail to some friends in Canada and they needed to have some rainbow sour belt bites, right? Because who doesn't need that? And these are resealable, which is great. I'm sending them some hot chocolate. So they need some magical um, unicorn poop as well to put in their hot chocolate. They're poop marshmallows, okay? So these are fun little treats that are gonna go in a box that I need to mail out this weekend for the same package. So I went looking for bubble wrap, but I couldn't find it, but this has bubble wrap in it and this is big enough for the two things that are glass. So I'm gonna cut this apart and wrap the glass jars in this so that, and then I'll pat it so it doesn't, they don't break. Um, yeah, cause I couldn't find bubble wrap, which is okay. Something else new I found in the craft section are these and they have them in all different shapes and sizes so you get three but it's just a little barn 
I don't know, like, what would you do with these? I think they're fun. I liked the shape ones, and then they had, like, round ones that said bless you and things of that nature. And then look at this one. And that just says family. And I like it. I think for spring, these could be super fun, like, on a picture frame or something to sit out as decor or in a tiered tray or in a bowl of, like, um potpourri or something i think these would be fun just for some spring but you can also again decorate on the back side sorry about the shadowing i have weird lighting tonight you can also decorate on the back side i think these are a little too small for any cross stitching that i do but it's there i feel like i'm going a million miles a minute tonight i gotta slow down I gotta slow my roll um uh, packing tape four pack I was like, what is that? I thought it was a bug. It's right there. It's a cross stitch. I was like, what is on my cat on my phone? Uh, packing tape for the packages that need to be shipped. So a lot of this stuff was like a necessity. However, my one store started bringing in some spring stuff. I feel like this stuff is what they bring at springtime. So we're going to check these out. These are under the bed storage is what they're calling this. However, I mean, stick it under your bed if that's what you need to do. But, okay, this is great. What, I'm, and I, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It is, let me find the zipper. I don't know where the end of the zipper went. Where did the end of the zipper go? Oh, here it is. Um, they are under the bed storage, yes. I need to go all the way one way and then come back to unzip it. However, I mean, I am thinking for storage, for me, um, the pillow covers that go on my couch that I change out seasonally. Think about this. They had them in bigger sizes too, but I, I was really intrigued by this one. So basically, is it great quality? No. Is it going to keep the dust off of things and cat fur? Yes. And I think this is a great size. If you're a knitter, if you're a crocheter, if you have fabric things you're trying to keep nice over different seasons. Yeah, you're not going to get in and out of this at all times, you know, all the time. And then it has the plastic top so you can see. So I grabbed two in this size and I'm going to probably grab some more, I think, because I like this size for storing, um, like I said, like I can store off season hand towels that, you know, the decorative ones, the ones that nobody's allowed to use, you could store them in here and then throw them in with your Christmas stuff and it will just keep them tidy and keep the dust and, and all of that off of them. Uh, your floss, your yarn. They had the bigger ones, like I said, with the zipper tops. But I feel like at Dollar Tree, bigger doesn't always equate to better because I think it's not sturdy enough for, to support bigger. I have a large one somewhere that has a comforter in it. And then they had this one that says collapsible storage container. And that was interesting looking. So we're gonna look and see what this one does. Um, I don't know. Maybe these were out for back to school and my store just got them. I don't, I don't know. To be honest with you, I've never seen them at my stores, but they also brought back the collapsible. Okay. We like this already. Okay. So this is fun. Again, um, I think the zipper ones are better for one reason, and I'll show you that reason. But this is really cool because it has the Velcro on it. But, I mean, I'm not, mm. but I like that it has sturdy sides and a sturdy bottom. And maybe I just put it in my drawer like this and put socks and stuff in it. Like my off-season socks. Yes, I have seasonal socks. Don't judge me. But I have certain socks that I only like to wear <laughs> with certain shoes. But I like this. I like it. I think it's great. I don't understand the concept of the top. Oh my gosh. If you had children 
or grandkids, you could make like a puppet theater or something in here. <gasps> or like a, um, a little dollhouse and they could just cover it up when they're done. How fun is that? So I won't be probably buying, I probably will not be buying more of this specific container. Um, just because I don't understand the top. You can tuck it in. It's fine. But I definitely will be purchasing more of these to store my off-season stuff. I'm thinking dish towels, pillow covers, like I have black and red for Christmas time. I can put that set in one of these and put that in a closet and then it's not dusty and cat furry. Because what happens is these little black beasts that live in my house love to climb in my closet in my bedroom and sleep on things that they shouldn't. I have a I have an odd closet in my bedroom. It goes over the stairs and so there's a shelf and I don't, I mean, there's a storage back there, but there was a blanket and they go back there all the time and sleep on it and it's terrible, but that's what they do. So if you, if you're doing any kind of hot cocoa bar, especially with young people, they will love this. It is magic poop marshmallows and they are in the shape of turds. And then I think these are just fun. I'm just throwing in some goodies from the United States to send to Canada. All right, guys. Well, I need to get to editing. It's been a long day for me, but I wanted to show you my treasures. And I will talk with you later. Bye.